Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn. I am a mama to twin baby girls named Summer and Winter, and we love using the Nuna Rava car seats. So today I'm gonna share a full review of these car seats and what features we love about them. And I'm also going to show you how I uninstall them and take all the material off to wash them and put it back on. I hope that you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. So to start off this video, I'm just gonna share, I absolutely love the material that goes into these car seats. The reason that we chose these car seats, or I should say one of the many reasons, is because the material is so soft and of course really easy to take care of because I can put all of this material into my washing machine. Additionally, it has these little side pockets where I can actually take the buckle and pop it into the side so that it doesn't get in the way every single time that I'm trying to put the babies in. And then on the top, I can adjust the headrest. This is definitely necessary for growth and is part of what makes it into a convertible car seat based on different ages. It does actually come with baby inserts for infants. However, we are at the stage where we are no longer using that. And so I have the headrest adjusted to where it usually needs to be. But like I said, the material is just so soft and I can adjust so many things about this. It also has a foot rest at the bottom. With the material inside here, it actually has a foam padding to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. And additionally, the headrests has a really thick padding as well. So it just gives me a little bit more peace of mind as we're driving and if we're on a bumpy road or something like that. Additionally, one thing that's really nice about this car seat is that I just have to push a button for it to recline and it has several different settings. The settings that are in the red zone are the more upright seating options and then the settings in the blue zone are for more of the infant options. So this is the setting that is the most reclined for an infant and what's cool about this car seat is that it can actually start all the way from newborn size through 50 pounds facing backwards or through 65 pounds facing forward. And like I mentioned, if you are using it for an infant, it does come with an infant insert and it also has all of the details as far as the weight limits on the side here. I also like that they have the option to change the settings on both sides of the seat so you can do it easily no matter which side of the car the kid is sitting on. And this setting is the most upright seating position and this is what they would sit in during each of these phases. Like I said, it has the weight limits on there, which is really nice. Additionally, I like that the material has multiple options for where you want to adjust the seat belt to come through. And you can also adjust the length by changing up the attachment on the back. And it's really easy to get on and off. For example, I just go like this to pull this hook off and then I clip it back on, but of course it's not gonna undo itself. So it is nice and sturdy. The material also has visual instructions in the front in case somebody who's a little bit less used to putting the kids in the car seat is doing it. They can see a visual of what to do and what not to do, but everybody who is actually putting a kid into a car seat should have proper training on how to do so. Pretty soon, I'll show you a little video of how I install my car seats, but the little blue indicator here is where I actually feed the seat belt through for rear facing mode. It's just under the cup holders. And then for frontward facing mode, it is the red indicator there. That's where the seat belt goes through. Now I'll go ahead and show you how I buckle up the seat belt and it's really simple and very straightforward. It buckles in the bottom and then goes across their chest as well. The thing I love most about this is that it's really easy to pull tight just by pulling the bottom here. There's a little bit of a rope, if you will, <laughs> that's attached to the seat belt. And then to let loose, I just push the button and I pull the seat belt out. Really easy, but again, super sturdy and something that the kids can't do on their own. So I know that they're safe. And and then additionally, it has all of these soft pads on the seat belt so that they're not gonna get scratched on their neck or on their sides. And then to undo the seat belt, I push this button on the top part and then I push the red button and pull these out each as well. Very easy and like I said, I can actually put these on the side to keep them in one place, which is so handy every time we're getting in and out of the car.
Now let's talk about taking measurements. This is important for people to know depending on the size of your car and additionally if you plan to fly with this car seat. According to my measurement, it's about 19 inches wide. Now, this is definitely important to know, especially, like I said, if you're gonna fly with this, the car seat itself is actually FAA approved according to the user manual. And that is something that I actually love about this car seat is the option to travel because we love to travel with our kids. With that said, definitely make sure that you check the policies and double check that you are allowed to bring this car seat on with you to certain airlines. And certain airlines also have smaller spaces so you have to make sure that it's actually going to fit just because it's allowed to fly it does not mean that it's going to for sure fit in a certain seat given on a certain airline so definitely double check all the details before flying with any car seat When I install the car seats in my car, I put the seat belt through the cup holder area where I highlighted earlier. I open up the true tension doors, pull it through all the way, and then I buckle it in by putting it through the other side. And I'll just show you what that looks like. Sorry, my car is messy. <laughs> then once it's through, I pull the seat belt all the way to the stop until it clicks and then goes all the way back in lock mode. Then I close the true tension doors and it is solid. I wiggle it around to make sure that it's not gonna move, just to double check. But that is all that I do for my rear facing seats. Now I will highlight that it's really important to double check and to cross reference all of the information that you use for installing your car seats with the actual user manual because that is the exact instructions that you need to follow. I'm just sharing a visual so that you get an idea for how it works, but you need to follow the exact instructions from the user manual. I believe this car seat does also have the option to be installed with the lower anchor belt. However, per the instructions, I'm using the recommended method, so that's how I learned to do this. Another suggestion is if you're a first time parent and you're installing a car seat for the first time, you can ask a local fire department to double check if your seats are installed properly and safely. <gasps> you girls having fun! <laughs> you ready? Yeah! Let's hop in! The car seats are all done! <laughs> Her favorite word right now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, so I just showed you how to install, and now I'm going to uninstall my car seats because they are messy, and I'm going to also show you how to clean them. So once they're unbuckled, I go ahead and lift up all of the material and you just unbutton these little ones. Then in the bottom, I push the little buttons together just like so to pull the true tension door open and then I just glide the seat belt out back into place and that is it. It is ready to go. I can just pop it out and completely remove it. Okay, so in this section of the video, I'm going to show you how I remove all of the material and I'm going to walk you through several of the different steps to uninstall the material and to reinstall the material. So pay close attention, but do keep in mind that I'm gonna go through some of this over and over because I really want to make it clear how to do this. Because when I first got my car seats, it was not super clear and I kind of had to just figure out by doing it. So I wanna make a video that is really helpful for others to understand how this works. So I hope that this visualization is helpful for you if you're trying to wash your car seat as well. So just to explain what I just did, I started with the headrest all the way at its top and all I did was push the button to extend it fully. Then I removed the material after unbuttoning the little buttons that are underneath the headrest and just pulled it off gently. Then the interior material in the center area, I pulled up from the little square that's on the bottom. 
and then from the corners there's a plastic piece that keeps it inside and I will explain this a little bit more clear when I'm actually showing you how to put the material back on you'll be able to see the interior and how it's connected to the actual physical car seat but really getting it off is just a lot of gentle motion and pulling it out of the little crevices and lining areas that it's attached to. It's really important to be gentle as you're pulling the lining out because right where it dips around where the hips go, you see the little bend where it goes from the upright back of the seat to the bottom seat. That is where there's a little bit of a hook inside that you wanna pull off and be really careful so that you don't break the plastic part. And like I said, I will show a very clear visual of this when I put the material back on. everything comes off and as you can see I definitely need to wash these and additionally I'm going to vacuum inside here because both of these have so much stuff going on in <laughs> but this is just what it looks like when all of the material is off and I'll show you all the way around And the other thing that's nice is I was able to adjust it to be a little bit more upright. So this one is actually in the one zone that's all the way upright. So that just made it a little bit easier to take everything off. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And I left this piece on just because this piece doesn't need to be washed right now. It's not dirty. Unlike all this other stuff, even the cup holders are such a mess. I'm gonna go through those and i'm even going to clean out the inside of this so you see how this opens i push this button here like that and then that is where the seat belts go so i'm going to clean that out too but first things first i'm going to take all of the material and put it into the washing machine All fits in there so I'm closing the door and I'm going to put it on delicates cycle and that's perfect so it's cold wash there's no spin but I am gonna turn the soil up a little bit yeah that's probably good Now I can multitask while the material is being washed. I can actually use the vacuum to get up all the crumbs from the interior of the seats. A thin vacuum tube works out perfectly for sucking up all of the crumbs out of all the different spots underneath the seat belt and of course inside the chamber where all the crumbs can fall between the cracks. Well, I can tell you going from something that looks like this <laughs> to this is extremely satisfying. I don't know about you, but it definitely feels good to get all of the things clean. <laughs> you can also go over some of the plastic parts with a damp cloth if there are some sticky spots or messes. Once the washing machine is done with all of the material in there, I also run it on a drain and spin cycle just to make sure it's not too wet. Then once everything is completely washed and it's not too wet, I go ahead and lay everything out to dry. 
It usually takes about one whole day for all of it to dry and I test it periodically throughout the day and turn over as needed just until you can feel that there's no more moisture and it's nice and soft. It's pretty amazing actually how clean it gets. I mean, these have been through quite a lot and now they look brand new. Real quick, I just want to show you exactly how this part goes in. There's actually a little plastic piece here with a hole that goes on to this plastic piece. So it really does click right on and then it absolutely cannot come off unless you really get in there to pull it out. It can be kind of difficult to install, but once it's on, it's on. And then you can see it actually goes inside this lining all the way through. See, now it's completely seamless on both sides. Okay, now I wanna show you really quick how this front part goes on because there's actually a big square that has to go through this hole and you actually have to kind of prop it up on the sides and then pull down with all of your might <laughs> to get it around this thing. Then to get it around the very bottom, there's actually these little white clips and these will go on underneath. There's a little plastic part that they will clip to and it actually stretches up until you get it to the point where it needs to go. And then it just falls into place really easily. And ta-da, this is what it should look like once it's all back on. So like I said, it's seamlessly all around that little square piece. And then the bottom is seamless as well. It completely covers the footstool and then the clips go on and it's not really easy to see. I think I'm trying to get you a good angle, but you can see that they are clipped on there and they're not gonna come off on their own. Then the only thing left to do with this main piece of material is to click the little buttons that go on the top. The headpiece is a lot more simple. Once you get it in all of the little lining areas, you just simply button these. And as long as it's all the way on, it should be easy. Last but not least, I put on all of the small pieces. This is just for the baby's comfort and you can put them around the seatbelt material. I love that it attaches in a way that it won't fold up. When I'm placing the large piece of material, I use my finger to slide in the lining. I also just wanna highlight that at the very bottom, the way it stays looking seamless is that there is a little hard plastic piece that slides right in and once you get it all the way in, it stays in place on its own as well. And the same exact method goes for installing the headrest. As I'm putting the material back on, I just use my finger to glide in in all of these little areas. Once all the material is on, I can adjust the headrest as I'd like, but the main thing is that it did need to be all the way up to get everything on. guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope this helped you learn a little bit more about the nunarava and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel it'll definitely help my channel grow thanks so much guys have a great day